All right, from the top. <laughs> Greetings guys, gals, and Godmaster Gamers alike, I'm a Grinning Gamer, let's get this game going. And welcome the second time, I guess, <laughs> to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Um, so yeah, getting used to stream- er, recording- streaming. That's a whole debacle. Alright, so while the opening cinematic is going, I'll probably still comment on what's happening in it, but <laughs> I've got an interesting tale to tell. So for those of you who were uh, in the uh, Discord when all of this went down, or even just hey, Gumo, um, uh, who were in the Discord or even just tentative on YouTube when all of this happened, uh, oh, we shall always remember the day. Um, but basically, okay. So long story short, I recorded an entire episode. And basically, oh, it's cool! Um, basically, what happened was, I recorded a full episode, but um, I neglected to unmute my mic. So, uh, <laughs> so that was kind of a vaguely upsetting. <laughs> vaguely. <laughs> Um, but yeah, recorded a full episode, no audio, and I was like, well, it's okay, I guess. I'll just fix some settings, and then I'll just re-record it, because it is the first episode, so it's good to figure this out now. But the uh, aforementioned setting up the settings and stuff took a lot longer than expected. So I'm now recording this at 8, which is, you know... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, which is around the time I was hoping to, you know, upload this. But now I gotta re-record this first episode. Oh, Ori's waking up stretched it's like a cat. He is kind of... Uh, okay, they. They are kind of cat-like. I'll probably just keep referring to Ori as a he, just like I usually do for the night. Just because it's easier to remember. Even though, um, many people, like, actually, I think that the, the, uh, the gender of Ori, like, if someone chooses a specific gender, it's usually she just as often as it is he, whereas the knight, almost everybody says he at some point or another. Um, Ori's a bit more middle of the line, which is interesting. But either way, um, oh, poor Koo doesn't like fruit. I do like seeing the passage of time through the cutscenes, though. Like, we got Fall now. And luckily this isn't Hollow Knight, or I would feel extremely bad about the following scene. <laughs> there you go, Koo. <laughs> and then we got Winter. Uh, why is this... Okay, I know. F five years difference between 2015 and 2020. Oh, that's awesome! They have a snowman of Naru's dad they were making. Um, and there's goose geeses. Hello, goose geeses. Um, but the visual quality is insane now. The sky cold. It's... It's just crazy, the amount of detail and beauty in this game. The first one, absolutely gorgeous, especially for its time. But this is... Agumo and Naru heard it too. But anyway, um... The... The upgrading quality definitely shows. No! Koo! No! Oh, Poor Koo. Poor burb. It's okay. Glow boy is gonna, yeah. Mama eggplant, um, and spider bro. I guess uh, it's up to Glow boy to go calm down the burb. Well, I guess not calm down. She's not worked. It. It's comfort, comfort the burb. These little ledges that stop you are kind of weird. Oh. Look at her! So sad! 
But seriously, look at the art design. Oh, come on, Goose Geeses, you're making her upset. Yeah. <laughs> Take your honking elsewhere. Poor babe. No the ends lay in the past. Whoop. I think I know what answer it is. I mean, I, know, I do. I've played this before, but... And probably, um, similar to the first game, I'm probably going to... Ooh, there's a vine there. Hold up. Ooh! I love that! When, uh, Ori's hanging off vines, like, just holding on by the fingertips, and then, similarly, when they get to a top of, like, a pole or something. Hey, there's a keystone! And the door, the door lock from the first game, and a mapstone. Kuro's feather, yay! But yeah, those three things that he just pulled out are from the first game. You got a keystone he threw out first, and then like a lock from one of the keystone doors, and a map stone. That's really cool. Wee! 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 Plunk. I got something, Koo. You're gonna like it. Hopefully, I mean, it is off your mom, who is now dead. Oh yes, I am inconspicuously hiding this enormous feather behind my itsy body. Ooh, there's an idea. Though, I wonder how aerodynamic a single feather would be. I mean, yes, it's a big feather, but I wonder how that would actually work. I guess I don't know the aerodynamics of bird feathers very well. <laughs> Gumo sleeps like me. Just limbs akimbo all over the place. Oh, that was mean. You don't wake up someone by tickling. Ooh. Ah, my brain is big and smart. I will use this ordinary piece of twine to attach this single feather to the bird's wing. It certainly will not come undone later in the future. This piece of ordinary twine will definitely hold under stress. Especially when carrying a load. This is perfectly fine. Together on new wings. Okay, let's see if I can remember this time. So, yes, right trigger is glide. Let's see if I can do this. What? No! Okay, so I have to flap. I have to flap. Okay. So, jump, flap, flap, glide. Let's see if I can do this. Yes, I did it! Woohoo! Wait, do I have to... Look! It's a constellation of Kuro! This is the detail I was tra I wanted uh, to show Rusty in his stream of this game, but I wasn't able to um, direct him well enough. Because once you get to a certain point, and actually on my first time playing through this a uh, couple hours ago, like once you get down here, you can't get back up in the prologue. And actually, you don't ever come back here again after the prologue, so... But I mean, like, that's a really cool detail for people who figure it out ahead of time. Ooh, go for it, go for it, go for it! Ah! Woohoo! We flying, boys! Look at the art, man. Oh, look, there's S! In the... In the tree and mama eggplant. Oh boy, she is shocked. And happy. Look at the Genzo tree in all its glory! This whole oh, oh look at that. Just oh, oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at this! Look at this shot! And once again, Gareth Coker's music just accentuates the beauty that's already there. And there's the ruins, so it's like we're working our way through the first game. Woohoo! Oh, and there's Sorrow Pass. Yep, because there's the Sunstone. It's neato. And there's Mount Horu in the distance. Oh, this is so cool. So pretty. Tally ho! Woohoo! Yeet. And there's the goose geeses. You may have made him uh, made cool feel bad earlier, but um, we're flying with you now, so it's okay.
And every time you have like a downward drop with the drums, the ba-da-dum, it's like, oh great. Now we're gonna take a turn for the worse, everybody. You ready? Here goes. <laughs> oh, that that does look cool though. The distance shot. Oh wow, the lightning. That's rendered so good. So well. I can English. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Maybe we should touch down. All the birds left. Touch down is probably the best idea. So we don't get struck by lightning. And affected by, you know, heavy amounts of wind. And there it goes. Great. Nope, nope, nope. Got it, got it. No, I fell off. I fell off. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, Coop. No, I got you. I got you. Oh, dear. This is a problem. Separated by the storm. Our story began. Well, that went well. <laughs> I mean, it's less of a heartbreak than the opening of the first game. Half luckily. Ooh, who are you, fellow? Oh. That doesn't sound friendly. That sounds the opposite of friendly. Oh, listen to the sound that he makes. It's so adorable! And sad and cute! Inkwater Marsh. It's so great! Okay. So, before we make progress, there is one thing I want to grab before we go any further because it's pretty simple to get to. Also, there's an achievement that I'm trying to get on this run uh, that involves not touching any of the poison water, like any of the the yuck water that's like purple. Sweet, yes, life orb. <gasps> oh, I almost screwed it up, <laughs> cause that's yuck water down there. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so I just apparently can't jump. Let's try this again. Whoop. Okay, yes, there we go. Oh dear. I forgot about that floor. All right, so jump, scramble, and yoink. And yuppity. And yuppity. Woohoo! Clamber, clamber. I'm glad that they at least let you keep the wall jump from the first game. I can understand why they would take. Ow! I can understand why they would take away things like the. Duh! Like the dash, because that seems a little OP to be given at the start. Um. Or the bash. Uh. I think I said bash. But, um, I feel like the wall jump and the dash, maybe even the double jump, would have been good to keep. I guess they don't want to give you too much to start out with, otherwise you go practically anywhere from the get-go. But yeah, that's what I wanted to grab, was that half a life cell, because... Okay, and I immediately lost the achievement. Great. I actually got all the way to the end of the episode without losing it the first time. Like, when I recorded this episode earlier, I made it all the way back. Like, I... Oh, I made it all the way to the end of the episode without... Okay, so I just can't do this at all now. I suck potatoes. And it it sucks to suck. But irregardless, I guess we're continuing. Let's find our little burb friend. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Scramble. Bounce on... No, bounce on the health. And, um, similar to the first... Yes, Spirit Light. Um, similar to the first game, uh, I'm probably gonna do, like, a, the main playthrough stuff, and then come back to, like, the major rest of the collectibles later. Yes, more light. Whoa! Well, that could have gone better. But I'm alive, so I guess it's not that bad. Ooh, I will come back for that later. That thing up there. Some more light. Drop down. Woohoo! Uh, I think we're good for health. Here. No, there's nothing over there. That's weird. I expected there would be. Hey! Hey, fellas! Okay. Can I uh, reassign you? No, I can't. Not just. Ouch! Okay. Not a fan of you. Let's try this again. Alright. Got some light. Yes, that. I know what spirit light is. You've told me twice now. Whoop! Woohoo! Ooh, no, that was health, which I immediately dropped. Oh well. Alright, let's break open that stuff and make our way over to- Hey! 
I know you, because I've played this before. Oh yeah, the, the voice lines are a lot longer in this one. What are you now? Not to Moki, clearly. Oh, not even from Niwin, are you? I visited most lands near and far and not seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe. Well, whatever you are, I'm talk. A wanderer in these parts. The the better parts at least. I'm taking shelter from that storm myself. But if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through that spirit gate over there. Oh, he gets nervous. Hmm. You'll need two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave to the west. He's again a nudge. Ah, Mira. But acquiring it is a job for someone more nimble than myself. Hmm, what do you say? Certainly. I will certainly do that thing, because it seems to be the only way of progression. Anything interesting down here? Uh, yes. A health pad, which I probably didn't need. And a small thing of collectible light. Which acts more like currency in this game, rather than like upgrades to a standard tree, because there are actually straight up ability trees in this game. Like, rather than, like, your, what you would typically associate with an ability tree, there's literal ability trees. <laughs> trees that give you abilities. Up! All the way to the bottom. Uh, didn't really need that life pad, so I'm just gonna bounce right through. I will break this, though. Ooh, more light. Uh-oh. Oh, that's cool how he comes out of the foreground. It's like a much less creepy version of the... Of the, uh... Little weavers in Deep Nest. Like how they uh they do the whole Ow 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 Oh and it's an enemy door so it's gonna glow purple with the slit and then split and go. Yeah. That made sense. Ooh, and that makes sense. The waterfall puts out the torch. Nice nice world building there. Hi, bud. Okay, so I can't really do anything with you. Oh I can I can jump on that. Ooh, I will come back for you later. But yeah, like I was saying, I'll probably do like the main story stuff and get some collectibles that are like along the path along the way there. But um, then I'll have a couple epi like an epi epilogue episode or two to finish off other things. I've got a keystone and I'm gonna use it. First I gotta get past the enemies. Go talk to Birdman, then he's gonna give me another one. Then I'm gonna make progress, yeah. That's my vegetable garden. <laughs> that was my vegetable gardening song. Ah, your don Ah, your back. Is that a keystone? I oh, see. No, Here's another for your trouble. I'm ever a bird of my word. Is a logic. Now I can continue my wanderings through Newen's lost wonders before we lose any more. <laughs> and you can carry on with. Whatever it is you're doing. Good luck. Well, thank you, sir. Because now that I have two keystones, because you had one, and I was able to get the other that you weren't able to get, now I can open the door for both of us. I don't know why anybody locked it in the first place. I will come back for that later. Uh, I don't know why anyone unlocked it. I don't know why anybody locked it in the first place, but even so, the door. Oh. That seems less than friendly. That, that seems very less than friendly. I will avoid that at all costs. Oop. That's going to be useful later. <clears throat> and they weren't inspired by Hollow Knight at all, definitely. You'll understand why I said that when we get to it. Alright, so as we make our way to the... Uh-oh. Oh! You're a lot bigger up close! Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Objects in mirror. Ah! You are big and fast and angry. Clearly. Oh, ow. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Run. Run and jump. Jump and scamper and run and jump. Wow. Okay. 
Yep. Flat. I got you with my black stick. Yep. Black stick in the face. Ouch. Okay. Take the black stick. Take some stick in the... Ow. Take a black... Fire stick. Ow. Torch to the nose. To the nose. To the... Ow. To the nose with the stick. Yeah. Yeah. Run away. Run away. Don't set the forest on fire, though. That would be bad for everybody. He set the forest on fire. Less than preferable. Oh, and he made a hole for us to climb down. Hello, light. Oh, that's a lot of bones. Why does this one look human? That's mildly concerning. Uh... <laughs> I like that just like, um, what's her face? Uh, Madeline from Celeste, the faster and longer uh, Ori falls, the, the more his model stretches out. <laughs> Looks kind of comical. Hey! Hey! Hey, buddy! Wait for me! Uh, wait, I want to get some... I'm gonna get some life from this life pad. I hope you don't mind. Eh, eh, eh! Scamper! Bud, come back! Come back at... Okay. Ooh! What are you? Whee! Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Oh. And just like in Hollow Knight, first major ability, pass out. <laughs> oh, I also love this detail. Every one of these literal ability trees. As an ancient light awaits. Every one of those ability trees is shaped like the ability that you get. It's really cool. It's okay, guys. We just flew with the goose geese and then got separated in the storm. Okay, come to think of it, it's not okay. Look at poor Mama Eggplant. She's so worried. Gumo, you're making her despair. Don't give her a sad face. Yes, point to the goose geeses. See, we follow the goose geeses. We're over there by the other big tree. It's actually two big trees that grew together. Oh, uh, hi, fellows. I also have big ears and a tail. And am small and sprightly. Though I am apparently smaller than you. You are not like the others. The Shrieker, the Howler. In you shines an ancient light. The tree remembered. It glowed, it glowed. It has shared its memory with you. Nice! Uh, let's see. Let's go for B. Oh yeah, I did a little donut. Now use the light. We want to see. Oh, that's the name of this track, by the way. On the soundtrack, which is a banger soundtrack. As if I needed to tell you that. <clears throat> it's called Use the Light We Want to See. Oh, cool little, uh, cool little uh, hint for those of you who want to try this game out for the first time. Like, even if you watch me play the whole thing, it really... You you need to try it. It's so much fun. Eh! Like, even if... Ow. Even if you get the story spoiled for you um, from this playthrough, it's really worth buying and playing. Like, this is my second favorite uh, indie game uh, other than, like, uh, outside of Hollow Knight. But yeah, basically, a cool thing you can do, um, down striking and up striking with the sword, uh, stuns enemies, or at least smaller ones. Ooh, what's in here? Something I will equip immediately. Because I like my gathering swarm, especially in this game when you're moving around a lot more. But like, it's so like, that's what it does. Like the sword flips the enemies onto their back or at least up in the air and they just sort of belly flop. Like the lizard guys, <clears throat> and yeah. That's a nice little tumble. Hello. You guys are cute, actually. Not as cute as me. Then Blight listened to you. You must be a spirit after all. We Moki thought all the spirits had gone from you. Gone away. So long, spirits. You seek someone. We know a finder. The great one, great and mossy. Go to the guardian of the marsh. Quolak will help you find your way. I will be certain to do that. Yes, Guardian of the Marsh. Sure thing, peoples. 
Woohoo! Okay, get some health up. Health bubble. Up strike! But yeah, that's what I mean, like, if you up strike or down strike on, on smaller enemies, they get stunned. Which is nice. Okay, I say that, and immediately... Eh, eh, got it. Woohoo! What's through here? Just a little more light. Cool. That's a nice spider web. Whee! Okay. Like, it keeps smaller enemies from attacking, which is nice. What's over here? Ooh! Yes! One of these! Hello! The light of, from the wells runs all through Nguyen. It joins! It heals! Okay. That's all you have to say? Okay. I guess I... Oh, th I was hitting the warp button instead of the save button. But yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't really need any exposition as to how they work. I've sort of used them before. But thank you anyway, Moki. You are very adorable. Okay, can't make that jump. Actually, I need... Yeah, I just need to go back up here. Scoos, scoos. Woohoo! The movement in these games is so fluid and free. And while sometimes that can make it harder to... Like, uh... Land perfectly on a small point. I'm looking at you, Blind Forest. Um, it does make like just running through the map so much more fun and free this is less fun okay i mean i guess this is fun but i mean like um it's more dangerous hi whoop whoop stun oh double stun nope i did not double stun but i did beat you yep and the purple slit opens up because i beat the thing let's get through here Woohoo! wait is there anything no okay but there is something over here. Ball of light. See, like I was, uh, I may have mentioned, uh, like during the last episode of the, yes. And what do you think this will be from the shape of the tree? That's right, folks. It's double jump. Yeah. But anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, I think I said it in the last episode of the first game. Probably not gonna cut this one. It's basically just for completion purposes percentages um like i was saying for at the end of the last the like the first game uh i forgot what i was gonna say hold on let me think i forgot what i was gonna say darn it i forgot what i was gonna say all right well basically um what i'm gonna be doing for this game is similar to what I did for the first one. Uh, what I did for the first one is do the main story stuff and then come back to it late. Uh, come back to the rest of the map later to finish off completion. I'll, I'm still gonna collect stuff, like if it's not too out of the way, but obviously I won't like go out of my way for all the all of the collectibles. Pull this thing. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna kill you. Ow! If you don't kill me first, then I stun. But yeah. Um, as much as I appreciate the, uh, the lore reason, like, the realism of setting your own checkpoints from the first game, it did make it so much more tedious having to constantly set your own checkpoints, which is why I appreciate this game, um, while it's less lore-friendly, um, it definitely... it's more fun that way. Oh, fun story. The first time I did this, I followed that rock down there and then immediately got crushed by it. Like, it tilted forward because of the momentum, and I ran, ran right up next to it, and um, it rocked back on top of me, and I died. Which I guess is why I bring up the whole um, automatic checkpoint system in this game, as opposed to the first one. There's a lot less penalty involved. Like, you don't have to worry about recollecting all the collectibles that you got before you, like, after you set a checkpoint. If that makes any sense. I'm probably just babbling at this point. Hi! I do love that stun. Down striking an enemy or up striking an enemy if it's on the wall to knock them off. It makes it so much nicer for movement. Woohoo! 
Oh yeah, and uh, something I noticed, and actually I'll talk about more once I get the next uh, weapon. Yes. Die to you, blob man. And a hoppy boy. Hoppy boy, go away. Yeah. That's what I thought. Whoo! I didn't get a good hop for that one. I will jump and then jump. Jump. Bioinkus, bioinkus. I'm still upset that I got hit by the 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 yuck water like to begin with, because I made it so far. Oops, I made it so far in the first episode that got recorded, but not the sound. Without touching the the yuck water at all, and then I blew it. Woohoo! Oh, ow! Yep, slash up. And then immediately follow it up with a flurry. Um, there is a big difference, though, between the sword of this game and the sword of Hollow Knight. Because the, the Spirit Edge... Ow. The Spirit Edge is much more of a combo attack. Like, if you slash once, it'll probably commit to a flurry of slashes. Nice! This will be a health upgrade! Boink! Yeah, because life cells come in halves in this game, as opposed to full cells from the first game, or four ha uh, four pieces in Hollow Knight. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. And yoink us, yoink us up here. Woohoo! It does feel so good. Woohoo! Yoi! Eh. E e. Woohoo! It's so fluid and free! And it looks amazing! This whole game just looks and feels amazing. Slash open that door made of bones, which isn't disturbing at all. Whoop! Take a long flight! <laughs> Interesting that these uh, posts are here. There is like a stomp-esque ability in this game that I'll probably get very soon, but um... It, like, those posts don't actually reveal anything, like, they don't run any mechanisms. <laughs> nice! So if I hadn't gotten that half cell at the beginning, that would have given me my full cell. Like, right in quick succession, if you're paying attention. Woohoo! I'll probably do, like, uh, the challenges, like this- uh, I already got that one. Uh, like the, uh, races, and the- Oh, hey! Who are you? Are you a spirit? Then tremble, spirit. You stand before Mock the Brave. It is not very convincing, I know. But I am brave. Or I would be with a trophy. A trophy like... Like a howl skull. Or just a fang if that's too heavy. I heard the howler fighting to the east. Maybe it dropped one. I will be happy to help young sir. I will get the fang from the thing that it may or may not have dropped in the place that is far east. Go back home, lizard man. And by home, I mean die. Eey. Shimmy? Wow, okay, so jumping while you're on a vine makes you shimmy a good distance. Woo -hoo -hoo. I almost fell off. I will have to come back. I will have to come back later because uh, there's a thing up above, but I do not have the dash yet. Okay, that was simple enough. Mr. Howl Fang. Woohoo! Yahoo! Why must this game feel and look so amazing? Like, honestly, if there's one series I feel might rival Hollow Knight in terms of indie platformers, in terms of art style, it's probably the Ori games. Ooh! A real Howl Fang! None will doubt Mock the Brave now! This is for you! I am brave, but I am also generous. Ooh, what is it? It's a blue Dorito! I mean, I guess it's purple. The purple Dorito! Made of rocks. A Gorlick ore, or whatever. Purple Dorito. That's what it's gonna be. Ow! Stupid slime ball, man. Nope, I missed. Come back. I don't wanna miss. Yes! I have you now! I do not have you- I have you now! Yes, slash, slash, slash. Woohoo! Don't want to put that on either. It's uh, reckless. You deal and receive double damage. 
Oh, also these little hanging plant things, they give you a light and health when you slash them. But, ooh! Um, but the hammer, when you hit those with the hammer, it gives you just health, which is interesting. Hey, look, everybody! It's the focus! <laughs> it's just straight up the focus from Hollow Knight. But, it's, yes. Uh, let, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, if you have, okay. Hop, hop, hip, hop, yoink. Woohoo! I'm back, baby! Whoop! Oh, it's another happy boy. Oh, I, I screwed it up! I hit the wrong button! Yeah, that's the thing about uh, allowing the player to map their own uh, abilities. Wait, wh what is down there? Uh, no. Okay. I will come back later because there's more stuff over there that I'll be able to do when I have more abilities. Oh, hi, sir. Ow! Hey! <laughs> Slapped your tail. Hey, girl. You want some tail? Flip. Alright, bud. Up strike for you! Slash, slash, slash! Yonkus, Bionkus. Ooh. Sign? Hey, look, it's Cornifer. I mean, Lupo. Great takes, traveler. I am Lupo, map maker extraordinaire. Uh. Honey. Quite the storm that passed through made my maps a little soggy, so I'll give you half off, agreed? Zincello. After all, rumor has it you're looking for a friend, and what's better for finding things than a map? Ah, Inajuko? Care to purchase a map of these fine fens for 50 spirit light? Ajnak. Much obliged. I will certainly do that, sir. But yeah, though I do... I do point out a lot of the similarities between the games. Oh, that's cool! That must have been added in what the in the newest update. It shows you where the uh, ability trees and uh, spirit or not spirit trials, um, uh, combat shrines are. That's actually really cool. But uh, yeah, the map system from this game and Hollow Knight are very different. Actually, it's ju I just compare them because they're both map makers in a platformer. Hi. With similar dispositions, in terms of friendliness and stuff, like, um, I guess the biggest, uh, wait, what is this? What's this, this painting here? Is that supposed to be a Moki and a spirit? Okay, that's cool, I guess. Oh, and I'm assuming that's Howl, the wolf guy? Unless that's an alligator. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is a Rain World reference, isn't it? Look at that. It's the lizard things, and that looks exactly like the Rain World, like, slug cat thing. I'd never noticed that before. That looks exactly like Rain World. Leave a, com a comment if, if that's what that's supposed to be. Like, I've never actually looked up... I've heard there's lots of references, like, subtle references to other games. Uh, in in these, especially platformers or indie games, um, but that's that seems too coincidental. Oh, which one is this? Yes, I will equip that immediately, and that one can be upgraded. I do like that you can upgrade um, spirit shards, which are basically the charm system from Hollow Knight, or at least they're very similar. It's basically just choose uh, choosable equipables that are basically just quality of life changes. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Slash the thing, open the door, get to the thing, slash the other thing, and if I remember correctly, yes, Ofer! It's Rafiki! Hello, sir. Come to see the, w the view? Splendid, isn't it? The wellspring in all of her magnificence. A whole generation of Moki have come and gone since the old wheels wheels have last turned. They say an impressive line. Well, that was kind of rude. He was telling me something. I didn't get to read it all. What's Shriek doing all the way out here? Something must have stirred her from a roost. Some threat, perhaps? Not you, surely. You look harmless. We should fix that. Oh, dear. Luckily for you, oh, I just happen to be a weapon master. All right, Sly. <laughs> Interested in honing your skills? I can offer a deal on your first purchase only, so choose wisely. I will take this. 
Thank you. Make the most of your new skill. The next won't come so cheaply. If you care to put your skills to the test, there's a spirit shine nearby. Just the place for you to prove your mettle. Our paths will cross again. Till then, keep your blade at the ready and an eye on the sky. I'll be sure to do that. Let's, uh, yes, because that's the only other slot we have open at the moment. Ooh, wait a second. But yeah, basically the hammer, it never tells you outright that the hammer is also your down slam in this game, which is, I think they should be more a little, a little more overt about that. This is the beginning of the spirit trial. Unfortunately, we do not have any, yep. We do not have, well, there's nothing over here. It's just a little alcove. Unfortunately, we do not have any, um, wait, what was I going to say? Uh, unfortunately, we haven't unlocked the finish line, and you need to you need to see both the beginning and the end of a spirit trial before it unlocks. Oh, this is bad. Let me around, please. Thank you. Woohoo! Garlicor! Nice. Woohoo! Oh, and like if I hadn't lost the now oh, fudge buckets. Okay, hold on. I want to heal, but is it worth it? Yes. Okay, so. Oop! Oop! Oh, I cleared that. Hey, a half an energy cell. Sweet. Oop! Boing! And land on the life pad. I missed the life pad. Oh well. I mean, I don't really need it anyway. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I just love this hammer so much. And it's a movement ability, so sweetness. Hey, another one! Wait, that's another- yeah, that's another complete one. Sweet, I'm at five health already. We have now achieved Hollow Knight beginning status. Hi, bud. <laughs> it sucks to suck, don't it? Oh, I say that! I say that! Why does new one laugh last? Oh, thank you. Nice, got more light. Okay, so he just spawns again out of nowhere. Hey, bud, could you, um, not? Okay. Ow. Rude. I will take your things. By which I mean the remains of your corpse. That sounds very dark now that I say that out loud. Woohoo! All right, then. Hey, here it is. Inkwater Shrine. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna hop up here first. Woohoo! Why does everything have to feel so cool? But look, the way he hangs on to the end of things and shimmies up. Why does Ori have to be so cute? But yeah, when you hit these little hanging Oh dear! When you hit these little hanging things with just with uh with uh, uh Hey! Come back here! There. When you hit these, uh, the hanging green plant things with, uh, with, um, the sword, it drops, uh, spirit light. Oh, there's the end of the trial, but we can't get to it right now. Uh, when you hit these things, these things, when you hit these things with a sword, um, it just dro it drops light and health. When you hit them with the hammer, it only drops health, which is interesting. Let's get ourselves a charm notch. Okay. Ow! Skeets! Darn skeets! Ow! There. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to, to not. I have ended your, your existence. Do not try to resist. <laughs> Slap! Wow, okay, so you're just gonna sit there and take it like a man. All right. Okay, as soon as you jump, it's gonna be shockwaves. So let's try this. And just game end you as soon as possible. Okay, ow. I am in your hitbox. That was easy. Woohoo! GG easy. And there's a, basically a, a, a charm notch, but it's a, yeah, shard slot. Yeah, that's what it's called. 
Shard slot. Woohoo! All right, let us continue on our way. Oh, actually. Oh wait, one, two. Eh. Yes, got some energy. Look at that boy balance. It's so darn cute. Whoop! Whoop! Okay. Woohoo! Look at this little boy. Okay. Look at this little person crawl. Look at that spirit. He's so cute and so dexterous. I wish I was as dexterous. I just like saying the word dexterous, can you tell? You probably can. Woohoo! Alright. Eh. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Just sloughing his way underneath that branch. Woohoo! Hey, I missed! Darn it all! Alright, here we go. Up, up. Thank you. Woohoo! Woohoo! Eh. Okay. Woohoo! Eh. Oop! No yuck water. All right, so then jump. Woohoo! Why do I feel so fast and free? Oh, hello, fellows. We Moki saw where the little owl fell, near the home we left behind. Silent woods. Scary woods. Oh, dear. Not silent and scary. Poor Koo. That doesn't seem very silent to me. It seems like lightning. Look at how scared she looks. Poor Koo. <gasps> There's the feather. Look at the hope in her little yellow eyes. Kulak is kind. Kulak can help. Well, you seem like you're kind and can help. Thank you. And you made it bubble. Ooh, rocks. Rocks and vines. That looks creepy. Not you talk, I'm talking about the rock you're standing on. Woohoo! Alright. Yoinkus, yoinkus. Woohoo! Eh, 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 climb up the giant face. Don't pay attention to the face. Hey, talk. The gaze of the great Kolok admits only the worthy. Or so the legend says. Of course, this isn't Kolok, it's just a statue, hmm? Come to think of it, it doesn't have any eyes either. How's it supposed to gaze at anything? Me Some legend. Ah. Well, not everything is as advertised. For instance, who'd have thought that a simple lever would lower the water level? That's some interesting technology these ain't these people have. Woohoo! Hey! Okay, so that Levine does support my- <gasps> Those mushrooms do not! Um... Hi, bud. You wouldn't mind if I game-ended you, would you? Because I just did. Oh, don't want any explosions, thank you. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, so let's drop down here and... Ooh! Looky there! Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a thing under here. Yeah! Energy cell is completed. I got four now. What do you guys want to guess? Th guess this is based on the shape. It's a freaking bow. Nice. Um, I like my hammer, so I'm gonna make the bow B. B for bow. Just shot my ammo for the bow. Yeah. Lift me up. Admittedly, though, I don't often use the bow outside of this section where it, it's necessary for unlocking platforming things. Just because I have other things that I'd rather use. But it's still a very cool weapon, and I completely understand people who like making the shotgun build because it does make it a lot faster. Hey! I got an eyeball! That's cool. Hey, bud. Guess what? Chicken butt. 
Why does it have to feel so good? Wee! Got it. Wee! I got another eyeball. Yeah. Wait, it's a gem? It's an interesting shaped gem. I wonder what kind of gem it would be. Probably some sort of quartz. All right. Let's put the eyeballs into the sockets of the statue! That's actually really disturbing looking. I don't want to go in its mouth! It's got bats coming out of it! But I guess I am. Here goes. Quolox Hollow. Oh, this is nice. I wasn't swinging at you. I was, I was swinging at something else. Oh! Ah, oh, darn. It wasn't fast. No! Georgeness! That was less than preferable. I got game ended by a block from the ceiling. Woohoo! There we go. Hey, Twillin, what you got to say? Oh, I didn't mean to swing at you. That was intended for um, the crystals in the background. It's ah, a glowing stranger my customers speak of with such awe. It's Tell me. Is it usual for your kind to fall from the sky? I have met many curiosities on my travels after all. Yes. Oh yes, some fall, some fly, some prowl, some slither. But all our customers, you see, just customers who want spirit shards. I would rather have, uh, not a spirit shard, shoot. Of course. I'd rather, um, up. Oh, I keep accidentally swinging at you. Ah, uh, you've met the feathered traveler. Not yet a customer, no, no. He doesn't quite agree with my way of appreciating such ancient temples, you see. But what a waste it would be leaving my dazzling shards to lie. Useless and forgotten. Even so, I grow weary of the hunt. Perhaps I will find some place to set up a proper shop. Some place less dank. I don't like me. Uh, I would rather actually just upgrade one of the ones I have. Yes, this one. Thank you. Much obliged. Thank you for your patronage. Certainly, good sir. I will. Eh, I will slick. <laughs> I just golfed him into oblivion. Um, you know what? This is a good place to stop. I think. Yeah. Next episode will probably be dedicated to Quolock and probably just messing around the glades and getting to the wellspring. And the next episode will probably be the actual wellspring itself. But yeah, I'll probably record a couple more episodes, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this extremely late Saturday episode. I'm sorry it took this long to get it out, but there was a lot of stuff that happened, unfortunately. But, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I love this game to death, and I hope you guys do too. And so, yeah, see you on Tuesday, and we will certainly see your smiles soon. See ya.